What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you a custom video. How to make your own WWE plaques. Now for those of you that aren't aware what these are, WWE actually sell what they call plaques. Now over here in the UK, uh, it's a running joke that plaque is something we all have on our teeth. Uh, but no, for some reason, the um, the Americans, they call them the plaques. And what essentially they are is just some WWE framed uh, like memorabilia. So it could be a photo of Roman Reigns with the Universal Championship from Clash of Champions with a piece of the canvas used at Clash of Champions in that photo and a little description of what happened. Now, it's just something that WWE on their shop, they sell to commemorate a certain event, a certain like segment, a certain match, whatever it is. Uh, I'm sure I'll add some uh, photos overlaying this just to show you some examples of plaques. However, these plaques are very expensive. I'm talking minimum 70 pounds maximum i've seen some uh like plaques that aren't being sold anymore go up to about a grand and it's crazy now i am a wwe collector i have replica belts i have a money in the bank briefcase i have all sorts of things wwe related and i really wish i could get into the plaques because i think they're really cool items to have however they are just too expensive for what they are. I'm not going to pay £80 for something the size of a PS4 game uh, just to sit on my wall. Buying a belt, that's different in my opinion, but plaques are just something that I can't seem to get my head around the price. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, today's video is my way of commemorating my time in the Thunderdome. So have you been in the WWE Thunderdome? Answer that question in, for yourself. Have you been in the Thunderdome? If you have, and you got on TV and you could see yourself, is there a way you want to commemorate that experience? Not just by looking back at footage, a way to actually physically have something that commemorates your experience in the WWE Thunderdome. And this isn't just for the Thunderdome. This is if you've been in the crowd for a WWE show as well. If you've been in the crowd and you were shown on TV quite a lot, you can do this as well. Because what this method is, is my way of commemorating your own personal experience in a framed photo, stylized to fit perfectly along with WWE plaques. I'm going to show you what I mean. So basically, I was in the Thunderdome for Hell in a Cell, for SmackDown, for Raw, but more in particular, we're going to be talking about my experience at Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell 2020, I was in the Thunderdome uh, quite frequently, actually, quite on, on camera quite frequently, I need to say, especially for the main event. I was actually pretty much front row. So I've got a lot of screenshots that I have of me that people have sent me on Instagram and that I've seen myself uh, that I've actually got. And what I wanted to do is I thought... You know, there's uh, there's something I want to do with these photos. I don't just want to have them on my phone to look at every now and then and go, oh, cool. I want to be able to have something physical that I can say, oh, by the way, I was front row at Hell in a Cell last year. Uh, like, you know, when someone comes round to me or something. So it's something that I, ha I can keep forever that just shows this is what I was doing the night of Hell in a Cell. I was front row of the Thunderdome. So what I did was I took my way over to Photoshop. Now you can do this in PowerPoint. Uh, you don't have to have Photoshop. It's just I prefer doing it on Photoshop. And essentially what I did, ladies and gentlemen, is I made a picture collage. Now, what this is, if you don't know what a collage is, it is literally just an absolute bundle of photos. So I took all of the screenshots I could find of myself from Hell in a Cell. I mixed them up into various different shapes and sizes and added them all to one project document. And what I did with that project document was I scattered them all, made it with a nice background, you know, made them all fit perfectly. I then uh, opened up another Photoshop document, made a little sign that said, you know, Hell in a Cell, Thunderdome with the date, threw that onto the document, and uh, here you go, you can see it on screen. That is my Hell in a Cell Thunderdome collage that I have. And I thought, okay, that's really cool. I wanna frame that. So what I then did, and this is what you guys can do as well, is your local printing store, your online printing, wherever you go to print photos off. Now, there was two things I had to buy. I had to go to B&M Bargains, which is a, uh, a place in the UK, a shop in the UK, and I bought three black photo frames for three pounds bargain and what I did then was I had my photo dimensions I had the dimensions of the frame made them match up and uh, on Photoshop and then I went to the 
Boots website, which is another retailer in the UK, but they do photo printing. So on the Boots website, I basically got glossy print of the, uh, the Thunderdome photo, and I ordered it, and I don't think that was too much. I ordered two, one for SmackDown, one for Hell in a Cell, and it was, I believe, eight pounds in total, including shipping, which is not bad. Now, I intend to do one of these for every time I'm in the Thunderdome because eventually I want to replace these posters on my wall with just framed wrestling memorabilia. That is my ultimate aim. I've already got a couple of plaques uh, from the WWE 2K games, one from WWE 2K18 and two from WWE 2K20. So I thought, okay, this is cool. What am I going to do? Oh, 2K19. Sorry, not 2K18. My mistake. But I was like, okay. It's time. So I waited. I think about four days later, I finally got my frames and then bang, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. In physical copy, we have right here, uh, I'm trying to not get the glare of my monitor in it, my WWE Hell in a Cell Thunderdome collage framed photo. And this will eventually go up on that wall and it is awesome. I mean, you guys, I'll put up the actual photo, what the digital version is over the screen, but you can see me in every single one of these photos. You can you can pretty much make out that they're all different photos, but I am in there at different points on every single one. I could point to myself on every single one of these. And this is something really cool, really simple. Uh, this isn't a long in-depth tutorial video like my Daniel Bryan belt video or my Money in the Bank briefcase video or something like that. This is literally something you guys can do at home. You don't need, you know, insane amounts of tools and all these different programs. I use Photoshop because I have Photoshop. This can be quite easily done in PowerPoint. It might not look um, as lined up, like everything on this is like perfectly center um, because that's just, you know, I, I, I go for perfection. So if I can't reach perfection, I go nearest to. And PowerPoint, obviously I can't go absolutely perfect using it but programs such as powerpoint i'm sure there's various websites like pic collage or something just look up how to make a collage on um on google i'm sure you'll find a website that does it for you upload all of your photos and bang you have yourself your own thunderdome or just general wwe commemorative plaque you don't really pay much in total this cost me about 15 quid for both of these which uh that ain't bad, considering I can walk into a shop and buy a WWE basic Mattel figure for that price. I'm sure I would rather have a, uh, a, a decoration like this for my bedroom. And I've teased it, so I might as well show you the SmackDown one as well. I wasn't featured as prominently on SmackDown, so uh, this one is like not as full uh, with photos. But here we have it, my two Thunderdome pictures. And... Um, yeah, you know, I, I pretty much, this is just my way of showcasing these because I haven't showed you th these yet. I definitely plan on making a lot more. Uh, every time I'm in the Thunderdome, I'm going to make one. So I figured, why not show you guys? It's something that you can do. It's n it's an original idea that I had, and I thought a lot of people can benefit from this. It's just something cool to have. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm not going to leave any links to... Um, like the websites I use, the shops I use, because you can buy a frame and you can do online photo print anywhere. So it's not one of them things that I'm gonna link you to, but if you like it, please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. This isn't really a tutorial video. This is just me showing it off. Uh, but yeah, I do hope you enjoyed. Once again, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.